I started thinking about when the morning might come, because at the time I thought I was stuck in a hole. And the words came to me, trouble, trouble don't last always, from that hymn. This too shall pass. And I thought, as I got out of the shower, I am gonna turn this thing around and I will be better for it. And when I do, I'm gonna go to Harvard and I'm gonna speak the truth of it. So I'm here today to tell you, I have turned that network around. That you will at some point fall. And when you do, I want you to know this, remember this, there is no such thing as failure. Failure is just life trying to move us in another direction. Now, when you're down there in a the hole, it looks like failure. So this past year, I had to spoon feed those words to myself. And when you're down in the hole, when that moment comes, it's really okay to feel bad for a little while. Give yourself time to mourn what you think you may have lost. But then, here's the key. Learn from every mistake. Because every experience, encounter, and particularly your mistakes, are there to cheat you and force you into being more of who you are. But the challenge of life, I have found, is to build a resume that doesn't simply tell a story about what you want to be, but it's a story about who you want to be. It's a resume that doesn't just tell a story about what you want to accomplish, but why. A story that's not just a collection of titles and, and positions, but a story that's really about your purpose because when you inevitably stumble and find yourself stuck in a hole that is the story that will get you out i know you all understand better than most that real progress requires authentic an authentic way of being honesty and above all empathy i have to say that the single most important lesson I learned in 25 years talking every single day to people was that there is a common denominator in our human experience. Most of us, I tell you, we don't want to be divided. What we want, the common denominator that I found in every single interview, is we want to be validated. We want to be understood. I've done over 30 5,000 interviews in my career. And as soon as that camera shuts off, everyone always turns to me and inevitably in their own way asks this question, was that okay? I heard it from President Bush. I heard it from President Obama. I've heard it from heroes and from housewives. I've heard it from victims and perpetrators of crimes. I even heard it from Beyonce and all of her Beyonce-ness. <laughs> she finishes performing, hands me the microphone and says, was that okay? Friends and family, yours, enemies, strangers, in every argument, in every encounter, every exchange, I will tell you, they all want to know one thing, was that okay? But no matter what challenges or setbacks or disappointments you may encounter along the way, you will find true success and happiness if you have only one goal. There really is only one, and that is this. To fulfill the highest, most truthful expression of yourself as a human being. You want to max out your humanity by using your energy to lift yourself up your family, and the people around you. Theologian Howard Thurman said it best. He said, don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive and then go do that. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. No doubt you will have questions and you will have doubts about your path. But I know this, if you're willing to listen to be guided by that still small voice that is the GPS within yourself, to find out what makes you come alive, you will be more than okay.
you will be happy, you will be successful, and you will make a difference in the Why is an origin story? It's, it's why we get out of bed in the morning and it's why people care. It's this deep-seated purpose, cause, or belief. It's a spark inside of us. And um, it's present all the time. It's different than motivation. Inspiration is different than motivation. Motivation can be externally driven. It can be temporary. You can be motivated for fear of punishment. You know, if you're going to get punished, you can be motivated. Um, and if you're going to get rewarded, you can be motivated. But it doesn't last. That feeling goes away and you have to keep repeating it. Inspiration is this, is this little thing that burns inside of us, sometimes brighter, sometimes dimmer, but it's always there. And it's where we go to for, for, for that internal strength. Um, and it's fueled by our idealism and it's fueled by the love of our friends and our colleagues and our coworkers and our family. That's what keeps that spirit alive. Uh when I tell you motivation is life, when I tell you that I need you to, next 100 days, I need you to stay plugged in, right? Because the days you're not plugged in are the days you don't get 120. They say an alligator is so ferocious it'll kill a lion. But I can kill a, I can kill an alligator with my bare hands. Little E.T., how? They say when a, you want to kill an alligator, you kill it right after it eats. Because right after it eats, it gets satisfied. And it goes to a state like it's almost paralyzed. Some of y'all in this room, are you paralyzed? You had a little success? You've done what nobody else in your family has done and now you chilling? Come on, you ain't hungry no more? Next hunting, I need you to stay focused. Why? You should still be hungry. What have you eaten that's got you satisfied? What have you done? What have you accomplished that got you so full? I'm a contender, but the next hundred gonna change my life. It's gonna change this world. We're ordinary people doing extraordinary things. If that's you and you feeling me, just say I can. Yeah. Come on, come on, I can. I can. I can. Come on, one time. I can. Yep, I will. I will. Yep, I must. Because some of you have a hard time staying motivated for a straight 100 days. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. Do you have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button? Raise your hand for me. You want to hit the snooze button. Right? So watch this. This is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you got to think about, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? For the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. Somebody tell me in this room, when you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunts, when you think about those coaches, those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. So when I ask you, you got energy, don't play with me. When I tell, when I say again, you got that energy for the next hundred days, I need to feel your soul in this room. All right, I can? Come on, I can? Come on, I can. I will. I must. Come on, I can. I will. I must.